great pleasure and pride to be invited here today to open Queen's Park Rangers' magnificent new £20 million facility. After having a 20-year association with QPR as a player, manager and fan, and my two sons going through the QPR Academy, I can't emphasise enough how important for the future of the club and its players this facility is. Um, I'm so pleased and proud that I was able to come here today not only to open it but to actually see a magnificent 20 million pound complex and um, the academy set up is fantastic, the pitches are excellent and I've seen Tottenham, they've got a wonderful ground, wonderful setup there and training facilities but this is really top class. Showing new signings and their partners around your excellent training facilities really does make a difference. But having your own training complex or increasing ground capacity or new stadiums are ways of being able to generate new income. I think it's fantastic and I'm very, very proud to see all of this today because I think a lot of people put a lot of hard work to get where we are today. And I almost can't believe that we are here now and uh, it's been I think at least you know eight years in the coming and, and therefore we're super excited that, that the player is going to come back to this tomorrow. We're going to have a facility which is you know, for the first time a home for QPR. I think for the players I'm hoping that when they come back tomorrow and for the youth who are going to come here after that um, that this is a place that, that they, they cherish and also take care of because I want this place to look just as good as it does now 50 years from now. So I was more excited about the fact that, that, that it was done and they got their own training ground, you know, because I really think that uh, in terms of the future, I want to see Queen's Park Rangers back in the Premier League where they belong, but it's not about getting back there, it's about staying there. All the decisions he's made, he's made because he wants the club to be better. And we hope to see him around. So, so I don't think this is the end of the relationship between QPR and Les Ferdinand. I think, you know, it's just another chapter between uh, ourselves and, and, and Les. If you look at the wall outside, that there's almost 500 names on that wall, you know, and therefore it shows how, how many of our fans truly, you know, um, come, came out to, to support us on this. And, and, and I think that, that's the part that I always find is truly amazing. And I'm really, really happy and, and, and respect the fact that they've always supported us no matter what. So.